Hey guys. Okay, so I have a quick recipe that I'm making myself for lunch. And, well, it's not really a recipe that I got from anywhere. You guys know me and my inventions. <laughs> so I'm cooking some bull tie pasta. And pretty much, um, I ran out of butter. So what I'm going to do is that when my pasta is done, I'm going to add a little bit of uh, sour cream and some Mex Mexican style shredded cheese and some Parmesan cheese. So as soon as this pasta is done boiling, I will show you guys how I put together this quick invention. All right guys, so I'm done boiling my pasta. I've already drained the grease. And now I'm gonna add a little bit of sour cream. I'm working with one hand here, so work with me. <laughs> some of my shredded Mexican cheese. I'm gonna mix it all up in there. Mm. Yummy. Add a little bit of my Parmesan cheese. Mix it all in there. Oh, I have a feeling this is going to be so yummy. <laughs> okay, you guys, so that's pretty much all the ingredients. I'm just going to mix it really good in there because I need both hands. And then join me in a mukbang. <laughs> Hey guys, <laughs> oh my god, I'm sorry, I had to change the setting because there was so much light coming in the way that I was silly, uh, the way that I was silly, <laughs> sitting with the Jack and um, Sally behind me. <sighs> it's a mission, it's too much sunlight coming into this house. I hate it, like I freaking hate it. <laughs> so here's my pasta. Let's see what this tastes like. I got some more Parmesan cheese here. It looks like it came out very creamy though. So I can't wait to try this. Let me get my Dr. Pepper ready. I got my cup of ice. Got my Dr. Pepper. Of course. Alrighty. So anyone, yeah, uh, ugh. I cannot talk today. I don't know what the hell's wrong with me. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, I, there's like light everywhere and like, ugh, I hate it. It was like the way I was sitting before was like flashing so much that I had to like change positions, which sucks because I wanted you guys to look at Jack and Sally for longer, but the light was just too much coming in behind me. Anyway. Look how creamy that looks. Mm. It tastes absolutely divine. Mm -mm -mm. That was a very good invention. <laughs> mm. 
You guys know me and my inventions. When I don't have ingredients that I could work with, I invent. Mmm. <laughs> this is so good. But yeah. All that light, man. Mmm. Delicious. That's a quick little trick that you could do when let's say you're making yourself pasta and you're trying to make like I don't know like an Alfredo sauce and you want to make it extra creamy always be sure to use heavy cream in your sauce instead of milk because heavy cream is thicker and it gives it such a good taste and add a little bit of, of sour cream oh mm -hmm. it does make that sauce extra creamy I love bull tie pasta. <laughs> well, I like all kinds of pastas, but <laughs> oh my goodness, so good, you guys. Mmm. Mmm. Look at that. This is absolutely delicious. <laughs> Okay, I'll be right back because the baby's crying. Alrighty, guys, I'm back. <laughs> mm. I have him next to me. I'm glad I was able to fix that program on my computer. So I could, like, you know, put together my bits and pieces of video because it's easier this way because when the program wasn't working like it was hard for me to like cut the video halfway through a mukbang if the baby was crying or whatever <laughs> like I wouldn't be able to put the mukbang together like all the pieces of the video so I'm glad I got that program working because now I don't have to worry <laughs> I could stop the video as many times as I want and still be able to like edit and put everything together Mm. Look at that bowl of yumminess. <laughs> mm, this is so good. So yeah, you guys like my Jack and Sally? <laughs> I love Tim Burton movies. I love A Nightmare Before Christmas. When my son, Jacob, my toddler who's three years old now, when he was a little baby, that's all he would watch, A Nightmare Before Christmas. He loved that song, like that movie. And the song, Sally song was his favorite. He would always be smiling and cheesing Every time the song came on, I would call him my goth baby because he was born in the era where I was like more into goth even like than I was now. 
and <laughs> yeah, he's my cute little goth baby. He loves, loves Tim Burton movies. Just like his mommy. <laughs> people used to call us the Adams family. <laughs> Our friends. And people who know us. Cause like, you know, most of the people that I associate with, they're like, you know, prissy, prissy, keep your kids away from horror movies and stuff that scares them. And like, oh my gosh, how can you guys like let your kids watch that? Oh my gosh, like, doesn't that scare them? Doesn't that give them nightmares? And we're like, no. <laughs> mm -mm. We're like the opposite. They're like, you guys are like the Adams family. I'm like, yep, we are. <laughs> It's like I'm all goth and shit. It's like that one part in the movie <laughs> that always cracks me up. There's like a gif online that's like um, Morticia Adams when she goes to uh, Debbie's house and <laughs> and she's like telling her, um, oh, I could forgive you for taking Fester from us and I could forgive you for this and that but Debbie and she's like what <laughs> and, and Morticia's like pastels <laughs> that's how I am <laughs> I'm like dude for real like you're so prissy prissy I like you girly pink stuff and this and that and keep your kids away from watching scary stuff because they might get nightmares at night and we're like all the opposite we're like the Adams family our kids grow up watching Tim Burton movies we go all out with Halloween decorations none of my de Halloween decorations scares any of my kids like they're so used to it they don't never in my life have I seen any of my kids afraid of any of my Halloween de decorations because we make it fun you know they know it's fake we tell them it's fake. We play around. Like, I'll stick my finger inside the the the, the corpse bride's mouth or the evil witch, and I'm like, ah, look, see. I'm like, see, it's fake. It's not real. It's all for fun. Hey, man. I teach my kids to be tough. Tough in the sense of, you know, you can't be scared of everything in life, you know? We can be all like prissy pris and scared of this and scared of that. Especially us since we have boys, you know? Mm-mm. Men up. Because one day you're going to be a man. And you can't be being scared of stuff like that. <laughs> Sorry. Mm-mm. There comes a time where you have to stop babying your kids. <laughs> like, I love my babies. Like, I baby them a lot. I'm not going to lie. I baby them a lot. But, like, for example... If my son, if one of my boys falls running, like they're playing around and they fall down, and I know that they didn't get hurt really bad. Of course, a mommy is always concerned, so mommy always comes to the rescue and like, are you okay? But I'm not the type of mommy that, oh my gosh, are you okay? Oh my, poor. no. I grab them and I hug them, I give them love, and I'm like, oh my poor baby, come here. And then once I know that they're okay, I'm like, hey, that's it, it's over, it's over, it's okay. It's nothing. It's nothing, you know? Because if you baby them too much, if you make it look like it's the end of the world, they're going to grow up being scared of everything, being scared of life, being scared of everything, even being scared to stand up for themselves. You know, my oldest son, Samuel, I've taught him since he was a baby. And I've told him, you never hit <clears throat> another kid never bully them but if somebody hits you you hit them back with all your might you show them that they're gonna regret the day they ever messed with you I teach my kids that way mm -hmm. you never throw the first punch but if somebody bullies you and hits you you hit back and you hit hard okay you hit to hurt so that way they never mess with you again mm-hmm that's how I've taught my son. And I'm going to teach all the little ones as they grow along the same way. 
you can't go about life being afraid and letting people step all over you letting people bully you mm -mm. you got to be tough in this world because we are living in very messed up times very very messed up times we have to teach our kids how to be tough too many bullies out there and I refuse to let my kids get bullied not once has my son ever gotten bullied and I feel sorry for the kid that ever dares bully him because my son is very well prepared I have <laughs> I have taught him I have brainwashed him he's ready for any bully that ever dares come his way but thank God so far he's never gotten to that he's in a wonderful school he has his own friends he gets along with everyone he's a happy boy so anyway Jacob what's wrong come here He's playing his brother's room and God knows what's up. <laughs> Today is crazy baby acting up day, so I better go. But I'm done already, so I hope you guys enjoyed this mukbang. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.